Hello. Renaigse, there you are again. What do you want? To speak to you about my cousin's capture and the massacre of his escort. A soldier from the nearby outpost survived and told us that you were present on the battlefield. I know that you see us as your enemies, but we are not here to harm you. I only seek to find the man I consider to be my brother, as well as the man who was protecting him. Katasak, one of your greatest Donegad. No Donea Exregal would attack Katasak. If you didn't attack him, you must know what happened to them. I was told that an islander took my cousin away. Perhaps your men were there to aid them. We do not have your cousin, and we do not know what happened to him. As for Katasak, and a vorst, Tire. He died from his wounds. That night, we heard the sounds of a terrible combat. The ground shook all the way to our homes. We went to sea, but we arrived too late. The last breath of Katasach had returned to the wind when we arrived there, and many of the Renaigse were dead. We could do no more. We carried the body of the Donegad and brought it here. He gave his life to protect Constantine. May he rest in peace. This request might surprise you, but we would like to see him. Why? What do you want to do with him, Renaixe? Examine him, to understand what killed him. We were told that an island native was there. ...and that he likely led the attack. No Donea Exregal would attack Katasach. You have been lied to, or they were mistaken. That is the very reason I need to see his body. To understand. You may see him. But if you desecrate his body... ...you will pay for this offense with your life. Seeing the state of his body, I hate myself for having suspected him. Forgive me, Donegad, to have doubted your loyalty. And even more for what we are about to do. Now then, let's see what story this corpse has to tell. The corpse retains the marks of a bludgeoning. There are large bruises all over it. I can see no wounds that could be attributed to a blade or musket shot. The main wound is found on the chest, which was crushed by something tremendous, to the extent that the skin has been torn, and the ribs are in pieces and the organs punctured. The edges of the wound are singed and smell of burnt flesh. There is a powdery spot on this wound, as if from ash or dusty gravel. Kadazak bore the brunt of this attack of incredible force. I would venture to say it was inhuman. I can only imagine one thing that would have inflicted such a wound. It's as if an enormous burning stone hit him right in the center of the chest. And seeing as how the bodies of the soldiers we found were sporting wounds of a similar nature, we can deduce that we are tracking a man or a creature capable of using molten rock as a weapon. I can't imagine an Adaig behaving like this. It is not that way. That they might attack careless hunters or warriors, true, but to attack Katasach. The power to call volcano fires could only be that of a guardian. No simple man wields mountain fire. We still don't really know who is actually behind this attack, nor what they want. Judging by the severity of these wounds, I fear the worst for Constantine. All your experiments. You've learned so little. You've learned to fear. 
Your instincts should have been enough. We had to at least try. Are you not even concerned? Or angered by what happened to Katazak? We've grown accustomed to the loss of lives. Your relentless attacks and incessant treacheries. All the same. There is truth in your words. This attack is out of place. Guardian and Donegad would never attack one another. There is a ritual that might help us. Anatalas Fair. The Anatalas Fair? What is it? Tell me more. It is a magical rite that only a person with a powerful bond to both spirits and nature can perform. It allows the Donegad who chants it to relive the last moments of an Onol Manawi. That would allow us to at least see the face of his assassin. If what I have heard is true, yes. To my knowledge, only one Donegad still living knows the ritual. Let's ask her for her help then. She might be able to tell us what has become of Constantine. You are quick to ask another to put her mind in danger for your own concerns. Imagine the pain of the wounds of another, shaking your body as the cold of death crushes your beating heart. This is what you must ask of the Tiernahach. It is the price she must pay for performing the ritual. When her companion was lost in battle, fighting against your own, she wanted to live that death beside her. Since that day, our Tierna Hachkadachtas has never breathed air with the same breath. That would explain her distrust of the Colonials. You must make her see your purpose. It may be the only way you are going to learn the fate of your cousin. Hello, Mev. Renoixe, why have you come here again? I've come to ask for your help. My help? You still seek the remedy for the sickness on your island? Or are you looking for something else? My cousin has been taken. And I've been told that you could help me. Truly? And in what way? By performing the Anatalus Fair on the body of Katasak the Donegad. Katasach is dead. Under Vosh Dere. This is a great tragedy. He was a good man. Perhaps the best of us all. How did this happen? He went with my cousin to a sacred site when they were attacked. My cousin has disappeared. Taken, according to a witness. 
and Katazak suffered terrible wounds. We examined him, and it seemed as if he had been struck by molten rock. Fire of the earth. Only the Nadaig Manaman have the power to wield it. But none of our own would have attacked Katasakh. This is why we need your help. We want to understand and to find who's responsible. And you will avenge the dead as you have avenged my wound in the past. Very well, Renoixi. I will help you. And I also wish to gain understanding. Our island wails in suffering. Many Sinolmenawi have died. The Anatalas fair may kill me, but at least I will know. You will need to act as my Voglendike, and bring to me the necessary ingredients while I prepare. What do you require? A potion. And listen and remember, or write in your language what I shall tell you. Do not forget, the viscera of the scavengers must be taken from a place near the battlefield because they contain the flesh of those who fell. As for the personal object of Katasakh, find his weapon, because it knew his fury and his despair. He didn't have a weapon when I found his body. I'll search the battlefield. Where can I find him? In Doren's camp. She recovered him after the battle. Very well. Not far from there is a sacred circle. You'll find me there when you have united all that I need. Then we can perform the ritual when the moon is high. I'll go and get the ingredients you require, and I'll find you there when the moment has come. Safe travels.
recognize this weapon. It's Catasax, I'm certain. It must have been broken during the battle. Let's take it back to Mev. Were you able to find the elements I need for the ritual? Yes. Here is what you asked me to bring. This is good. But the moon is not yet high enough. Would you like to wait with me? Yes. I will keep you company. Sit then in that case. And remain silent. I must meditate. Katasar, we have come to learn the truth of your death. Ato al kom frangawi brandi, olehan amemen adestame haman. Bara vridenan ta hanemo kwate grenpem, linkui dam da renau te da chodos. Lemat, de ta hawan kloisam, de ta lugedon velam, de ta ragam buledam. Duta Taminam Reloidan, Aduta Laman Conte by Dam, and Antelam for Frank Tango. Katasak, help me, please. Show no fear. I do not think he means you any harm. <gasps> what is this? This monster? Why is it attacking us? I don't know. I don't understand. It is as if it seeks you out. It wants you. You never should have done that, Katasach. To save one, Renaikse, you put us all in great peril. His spirit is different. He receives badly. You have woven the bond of the Deathbringer. What is happening to you? Get a hold of yourself. Come on. I cannot 
believe it. He has returned. Who has? Finbar. The High King. We thought he was dead. He disappeared months ago. Is he the attacker? And what of Constantine? Have you seen a young, blonde-haired man? He was sickly. Yes. The golden haired was there. And he was afraid. Katasakh protected him before he was killed by Finbar. Leave me now. I am very tired. How are you feeling? Better. What are you going to do now? If I want to have any hope of finding Constantine, I must follow Vinbar. I have no choice. Do you know where to look for him? Vinbar has been missing for moons. The kings and queens could tell me where they saw him for the last time. Then you must earn their trust. Arm yourself with patience and courage on all Manawi. Your journey is still long. Thank you, Mev. You have helped us greatly. Do not thank me. I have not done this for you, but for Katasakh. In order to satisfy my curiosity, I betrayed my king. You will find him and confront him, no doubt. All that remains for me to do is to pray that I have done nothing that cannot be fixed. Farewell, Mev.
what do I owe the pleasure of your visit? I'm in need of your help, Ulan. I am looking for your High King, Vinbar. I was told that you were one of the last people to see him. <laughs> I wouldn't know where you could find him. He disappeared moons ago. But you are our ally. Our friend. I will tell you about the last time I met with him. We had met in the council at Dorhad Genadu to decide what to do about the Renaigse. But we were unable to come to an understanding. Some of us are full of violence and refuse to see what we gain by befriending your kind. Deirdre and the poor Bladnid were among them, alas, and only speak about the massacres. I defended you, of course, and attempted to make them hear reason with some help from the cautious Dunkas. But our disagreement angered Vimbar. He decided to leave us and to seek counsel elsewhere. He wanted to go to the heart of the island to consult with En on Nilfrichtiman. Do you think he might have stayed there? I doubt it. It was too long ago. You should travel to Wenshavar, his village, even if he decided to stay away from his people. He would not have abandoned his closest friends. Thank you, Ulan. Anything else? Nothing. I must go. Bird Tiotomad on Almanawi. Esquetu. Hello. I'm sorry, but I do not speak your language. Really? Then you are a Renaigse. I have never met one with the bond. Might I do something for you? I am looking to find Vinbar, the High King of Tirfredi. And I was told that he was born in this village. He disappeared after visiting the heart of the island. But I was hoping someone here might know where he is hiding. You should speak with Sarah. She is the companion of our king. Where might I find her? I do not know. She left the village and I have not seen her in several days. Anything else? Goodbye. What hour am I It is rare to see Renaixe here. Is there something I can do for you?
I'm looking for High King Vinbar. I know that he disappeared after having visited the heart of the island, but someone here in his village might know where he went after that. If anyone knows, it would be Sarah. But you will not find her here. Anything else? Would you know where I could find Sarah? She left to follow Vimbor. She wanted the mountains to take her as well. What do you mean? We don't know if Renaixe could understand. Our High King is on Olmenawi, and the Donei God. His bond with the mountain is very strong. Even stronger now that he speaks with the En Olmil Frichtimen. Sera knew that the mountain would take him back, and she wanted the mountain to take her as well. She went to attempt to bond herself to it. She sought the cavern of knowledge. We haven't seen her since. She might have succeeded. Anything else? Where is this cavern of knowledge located? We don't know. The caverns of knowledge are the concern of the Donegada. Anything else? Thank you for your help. Where Aulam said. I do something for you. I heard talk about a cavern of knowledge. It is a place where the Donegada go, within the earth. They hear the voices of those that went before them, and they learn. There are some on Tiafradi. The closest to our village is found to the northeast of here. But the entrance is sealed, hidden. It is a sacred place, a place for only the Donegada. Anything else? Goodbye. What I want to say. your tongue. You think someone's coming to save you? Give in. Your life is in our hands. It is time to tell us all you know. The sooner you speak, the sooner this will be over with. You should be discreet if you want to eavesdrop on these people. She's been enduring this punishment for hours, blow upon blow through gritted teeth. Truly savage beast we have here. Do we even know if it speaks our language? Leave us. You will eventually tell us how you found your way into that grotto. Your defiance is only prolonging the inevitable. You remind me of that rat my master was studying. The creature used all of its fire in an effort to escape. Scratching, twisting, refusing to understand that the cage holding it was its only remaining world. 
It had everything it could ever need. But it wouldn't stop looking for a way out. Even though its fate was now sealed to serve science. Its animal instinct drove it to flee. It had strangled itself between the bars of its own cage in a final futile attempt to escape. It was an enormous beast, and very clever. If it had simply relented, it could have lived peacefully for many years. Instead of that... Monsters are torturing her. Come, we must set her free. We may be able to reason with them. I could try. I recognize this face. Lady de Sade, what a pleasure to see you again. What good wind brings you? These people are monsters. They just tortured a woman, and then they say hello as if it were nothing. I'm sure that they will explain what pushes them to treat her this way. Believe me, we would never have reached such extremities if she had told us what we wanted. You see, we have been studying these beings that show, like you, such strange markings on their bodies. We call them metamorphs, but the natives call them Onol Manawi. And we seek to learn through what process they metamorphosize. We heard talk of a cavern of knowledge. The savages hide all of their knowledge within them, and certainly all the secrets that interest us. We discovered one here, but are unable to enter. This woman. She knows how to enter, but as you have witnessed, she refuses to tell us how. To know we are so close to understanding such a fascinating phenomenon, and to be able to do nothing. Let's just say it has made us... aggressive. It's extremely regrettable. Free her. We would like to have a word with her. She won't tell you anything. Let us handle this. She will give in at some point. Have you already forgotten all that you owe me? Without me, you would all be locked away in Duren's jails, or likely even dead. I took you for sages, doctors. But you are nothing more than a gang of skin flayers. You have made me regret my actions. It is true that we indeed owe you our lives, but... All this knowledge, ripe for the picking. No knowledge justifies treating anyone this way. Oh, free her now. We shall leave. Nothing more holds us here. How are you feeling? Better now. Those Renaikse are absolute monsters. But who are you? You too are a Renaikse. Why have you freed me? We were told at Wenshavar that you and you alone could tell us where to find High King Vinbar. I wish I knew where he was right now. He bid me farewell weeks ago and he has not returned. I waited a long time and then I came here. To enter into the Cavern of Knowledge. You believe that this is where he is hiding? No. But he came here often before he disappeared. I'm hoping to find answers. You save me. And so I must help you as well. You may come with me. 
The cave of knowledge is a bit further north. Here is the entrance to the Cavern of Knowledge. I hope that Vinbar has left a clue to where he went. Something I could track. Is it your wish to join him? He is my Manundanem. That means the one who shares my mind in your language. We must be reunited. I understand. But why protect the entrance to the cavern at the risk of your own life? The Caverns of Knowledge are truly sacred places. Only the Donegada have the right to enter. But you are not a Donegad. Is that right? I am not. But I must enter in spite of everything. And since you have helped me, you may enter as well. Even if I am not sure I can trust you, because you spared these people. Remind yourself that this honor is immense and show respect. I implore you. Put your fears to rest. We have not come to defile this sacred place. How do we enter? Allow me. I have seen Vinbar make these movements so many times. is still fresh. It must have been painted recently. It's of a crowned man. Vinbar, no doubt. It looks as if he is walking through the skies towards the volcano. A face has been painted on the volcano. The spirit of the mountain. My heart did not betray me. Vinbar has readied himself to join Enon Milfrichtemen. Was that why you came in here? To confirm that supposition. To understand, yes. As the years passed, my Minundanem grew more and more distant to me. I thought at first it was due to his status and the invasion of the Renaikse. But now I see that he was hearing the call of Enon Milfrichtemen. He had no choice but to answer it. Oh, Vinbar, why did you not share this with me? These paintings are older. This looks like it represents a man who transforms himself into some kind of enormous bird. He is a Denegad. 
becoming a Nadaig Manaemon, Vinba was also bound to the mountain. It is no doubt the path he has chosen to follow. If I understand correctly, the Donegada metamorph differently according to the place they are bound. Yes. The Sinolimanawi bind them to a specific place, and in return they become the Guardians. But how could a Guardian of the Plains resemble a Guardian of the Mountains? Do you believe that Vinbar is readying himself to undergo this transformation? I thought it was a very slow process. For some, it takes years. At least this is what is said. For others, it might take place the very moment where the Donegad surrenders to Enol Milfrichtemen. I hope only to have the time to bid him farewell. Given how well hidden this seed was, it must open an important passage. All we have to do is find out which. This mural is also ancient. It seems to show a doorway into the mountain. It seems that this door is just in front of a circle of stone. There are two altars and two seeds. The Donegada seal certain sacred places with root doors. Yes, I have run into similar barriers. It's all a matter of finding the right seed. But here, there are two that seem to be different. For one, the flower motifs seem to indicate which plant is required. This is possible. The caverns of knowledge are used to initiate and transmit the knowledge of the Danae Gada. This painting must teach the younger how to reach the sacred place where they will bind themselves. In that case, shouldn't there be an illustration of the second plant? The initiates also learn by listening to their masters. On this one we see a sacred site with raised stones, and behind the face of the volcano, we also see a path that leads there, like some sort of schematic. This must certainly be the path the young apprentices must walk, and the Donegada Garda that are prepared to surrender themselves to Enol Milfrichtemen. Do you recognize the place where the entrance can be found? I think so. It looks like the grotto that lies to the northwest of our village. With all that we have learned from studying these paintings, we should be able to find Vinbar. I just hope there is still enough of him left to answer us. And that Constantine is with him. And that he is still alive. Who is Constantine? I thought you were looking for Vinbar. I seek them both. I had hoped that Vinbar would help me enter the sanctuary of Dorhad Genadu. But I learned from the Tierna Hakadactas that he took my cousin. The Tierna told you this? And so you seek to avenge him? No. Only to save my cousin and try to understand why. None of what you say makes sense. Why would Vinbar take your cousin? I... I don't understand. I... My head spins. I need to breathe fresh air. I shall await you outside. Please, go ahead. We will join you soon. Am I the only one to think this woman's departure is suspicious? Sarah is upset, and I don't think that she trusts us. We should hurry and catch up to her. I shouldn't have told her about Constantine. She must have thought we wanted to kill her husband. <sighs> this door is locked. Sarah has put us in a very tricky situation. We should have noticed that she did not trust us. Well, let's search. There must be another exit to this cave.
Those traps weren't here when we went through with Sarah earlier. She must have set them to make sure that we wouldn't be able to follow her. Let's hurry, and find this passage to the Northern Mountain, before she decides to come and fight us directly.